microphone is on. So, hello. Uh, hopefully, this will work. I've done a little bit of video or of audio changes, and actually sounds really weird with my headphones on and not really being able to hear my voice. So, if I sound a bit odder today than normal, that might be why. Uh, so anyway, welcome. Uh, planning on returning to uh, to Spirit Fair again, and hopefully this time we will actually meet some of the departed spirits. There we go. Audio hopefully the audio is coming through. I did a little bit of tweaking with the sound settings so I could experiment with the headphones. Uh, theoretically, game sounds should be streaming as well. Theoretically. One never knows, though. Uh, because if there is a... <laughs> if there's a technical problem that is possible for Twitch to have, I'm going to probably have it. So, anyway, let's continue with where we were last time, which I believe was uh, getting ready to... Sorry. I have a hair that is, or something that is trying to, trying to kill me. Um, something, I think, I think it was a hair just basically hanging right in front of my eyes. Oh, hi, Sarah, or oh, Jasnitz. Um, I'm glad that, glad that it worked because Twitch notifications are spotty as hell. Uh, it's ridiculous. Half the time I get them, half the time I don't. But yay! Thank you for coming. And uh, is the audio balance okay for you? Um, my my headset is kind of muffling my own voice, so it's a little bit odd. Uh, and I don't know how to balance my own audio with the new settings and. So anyway, if it's if I'm too loud, if I'm too soft, game too loud or soft, please please let me know. So anyway, welcome. Okay, good. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. It seems like forever since I've actually seen you. Um, well, it seems like forever since I've actually seen anybody. But let's see if we remember at all where. Okay, we're on the boat. What are we doing? I don't recall what we were doing. Maybe, uh, maybe Gwen. Oop, oop. I have to remember my keys. Okay, maybe Gwen will tell us what we're doing. And nope, apparently Gwen will not tell us what we're doing. All right. Oop. And okay. Oh no, fractured tooth root? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's hideous. Um, I will do my best to um, to distract you. Oh, pfft, great. Daffodil can jump up there, but I can't remember. Um, we, ah, okay, there. Um, well, I mean, the best way, I mean, if you really want me to distract you and, uh, and basically, goodness, okay, sorry, Mulier just knocked over, the dog just knocked over some stuff. Um, let's see, I'd, I'd say probably, I think the, maybe watching Fall Guy, we could play some Fall Guy later, uh, because that, or Fall Guys, because that is completely ridiculous and I am appallingly poor at it. I basically make a, a bunch of stupid, stupid sounds, and um, and that that would be highly distracting. This is more chill and relaxing, so uh, I'll do my best to entertain. But eh, I may not be may not be engaging enough. Sorry, I'll do my best though. Um, okay. Oh, the uh, oh. Yes, I know, so adorable. And what am, what am I had? Uh, where? What? That is not what I meant to do. Nope. Oh, that's why. Okay. I okay. Well, I I, I think it is a cat. Yes, daffodil. Um, but 
very long haired so it's a little bit difficult yeah the, it looks like a cat to me or at least they have the the ears like this but cat dog magic magic creature of some sort and where am i going okay we're going to try to see i think we were supposed to go somewhere i don't recall where precisely ah yep that probably suggests that we were sp yes there was a new location to go to or to go visit so use the mouse and oh yes Buckenstein Creek I have no memory whatsoever of what we're supposed to do with that Ooh, what is this um oh the crates um have we been there already I don't recall oh yeah oh if you were on the phone then yes that was yeah the screen is way too small to be able to see anything with with um, with clarity. Which reminds me, I was going to text my parents before I did this, before I started, and I've got to do so. So one moment, please. Yes, thank you, Tilly. You are all done. Thank you. Sweetie. Munchkin Tilly. Tilly Bobby. Sweetie, where are you? Okay. Yes. Tilly boo. Tilly boo. Good girl. Everything's fine. Sorry, one moment, please, as we text the parents and just see. Okay. And if I can remember, <sighs> okay, cool, sorry. I apologize for the, for the, <laughs> ridiculous delay there. Oh, hi, Tori. Hi, welcome. And, oh my goodness. You have, so your projector actually goes on the wall. That is way fancier than anything I have. So, and, and Tori, is, is night still streaming? I, I feel bad not being there, but I had said I was going to stream at some point from two to three. So, oh, okay, well, I'm sure you're in his stream too, so please give him my love. And um, I have, I have no brain cells at the moment, except that we are going to, thank you. We are going to a new location and Gwen is not talking to us. And so, how, so, uh, Jasnitz, how long have you had the projector? I don't think I've, I don't think I remember exper or hearing about that before. Oh, we're almost at the crates, I believe. Yay. Oh, good. I caught an old shoe. Fabulous. Okay. So where? And there should be a crate around here somewhere. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's see what goodies we have. Ah. Okay, we got linen seeds, coffee beans, carrot seeds, empty bottle, and some other stuff I am too slow to say. Oh, that's nice. Two months. Oh, man. $200, though. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, if I had the wall space free that might be something to investigate for here um although actually i bet you need a white wall though don't you 
or some sort of screen that's white, um, just for color correction, because none of my walls are... Do I have any white walls at all? No. No, because the closet is gray, the bathroom is like off-white milky chocolate. Well, actually it's not even off-white. It's sort of a, a milky coffee color. Uh, main room is dark blue. Kitchen is purple. So... Oh, yours is green. Okay, so it works with different colors. Okay. Oh, fuck. Did I... I, I forgot to change the freaking... Um, freaking stream information again. One of these days, I shall remember. The thing is, it's not obvious how to do that in OBS. And so, yeah, it it's just annoying that I keep forgetting these things. And uh, channel stream manager, I think. Plus, it doesn't help that I can't remember the difference between channel settings and stream manager and it's <sighs> okay you know what screw it I'll do it later um, in the meantime anyone who comes in will just be thoroughly confused I'm sorry yes this is another reason that I would like to actually get mods at some point when I uh, when I actually have a little bit of of money to pay them, or at least give them gift certificates as a thank you. Oh, pfft. I'm talking while I'm trying to navigate and completely failing. Um, oh, it's too dark to navigate. Fine, we'll go to bed. Um, what was I? Oh, pfft. that's right. The bedroom is in here. And we're going to yes, we're going to sleep until morning. Because uh, if I had a if I had mods, then someone else could actually, you know, take care of this <laughs> crap that I forget to do. I found out that you could change the stream info from your phone. Ah, well, yeah, I I may need to experiment with that because I don't want to sit here. Well, I, I've done plenty of sitting here messing with things uh, already, and I don't want to make the entire stream basically me sitting here going, oh, well, well, that's not it. That's not it. Why is it not working? And because I'm going to do enough of that anyway. Yes. Um, yes, thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Or uh, should I call you Jasnitz or Sarah online? I don't know which one you prefer. Um, either one is good with me, but I just, you know, want to make sure I use the your preferred term of address online. Uh, oh, Jory, I Jasnitz and I know each other in real life, so we. We are friends and we work together and either, okay, good, thank you. Um, but basically, really cool person, very smart, um, knows a ton of stuff. Okay, cool, excellent. <laughs> Sounds good. And we, can we talk to Bryn yet? Oh, Bryn is looking sad. Nope. Okay. I always... Okay. Apparently we can't. Um, nope. We're going to sit on the sofa. Can we Can we find out why, why Gwen is looking sad? No, we're just going to sit on the sofa with, with Daffodil. <sighs> okay. That's some serious cold shoulder there, Gwen. Um... Okay, um, yeah, Twitch has been a little bit uh, uncooperative today, but hopefully, yeah, hopefully it will at least behave. It's just that, I don't know, for me, I have difficulty telling the difference between 
all of the different subscreens behind the scenes and I don't fully comprehend how they divided things up that some tools are in this location other tools are in this other location and I can't remember which is where and it becomes very confusing to me uh, might as well see if we can make anything while we're here uh, oh Okay, well, never mind. It just interrupts whatever you're doing when when you arrive. Alrighty. Um, okay, fine. Yes. I'm sorry, Daffodil is just so, so wonderful. Oh. Okay, uh, since they have their own spirit orb, which is the, pow the source of power, apparently, as the replacement for Karen. Uh, oh, come on, why can't I talk to Gwyn? Fine. Okay, now, now Gwyn will come out. <laughs> oh, God. My navigation on, in this game is not good. Okay, so apparently we still can't talk to Gwyn. Um, good hug? Okay. Okay, good. Gwyn at least liked the hug. Thank you. You're welcome. And good. Mood has gone up. And so I don't recall precisely what we were supposed to do here, but let's go to the new location. Well, <laughs> Daffodil, sweetie, that does not look like a very good location. Um. Okay, um, yeah, I should probably move out of the way. There we go. Okay. And we're going to an, un to an island or location for a reason I cannot remember because it's been a week since I played this game. Weren't we here before? Is this the same island where... Oh, no, okay. No, it just has a similar uh, thing. Because last week we were on an island where we were collecting resources and we had a, a little shack very much like that and there was a tree stump that we left. So I was wondering if we had gone to the wrong thing. But no, we have a, a new character to meet. Oh, great. You're here. Listen, I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. It just sort of slipped. Your fingers are sticky and things... Never mind. Sticky and slippery... Uh... Fine. Uh, just... Why? Good, good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands. I swear. I've been experimenting. What is this person's issue? I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus on these wild fruit. Now, it's just berries with no twist. Okay, unless... It's just down there, in the water. I do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. New request, sticky fingers. Do I recall at all? Ah, there we go. Um, I'm guessing it's... Did we actually, whoop, can, can we actually get back? Nope. All right, how do we take requests? Um, okay. All right, it seems like it should be where the yellow sparkly lights are, but E to interact is not helpful. I can jump out of the water, which is nice, and make a big splash, but I have no recollection of what I'm supposed to do. How I'm supposed to retrieve this. Um, is it going to actually tell me? Nope, mouse does nothing. I am hitting random keys, which is my highly scientific approach when I don't know what to do. 
Um, alt. Nope. Nope. And. Alright, we're going. Look in that pond. Yes, I'm. Will you tell me how to look, though? My lemon should be. My lemon should be down there. Yes, but how? Maybe I need to go. S go no? Pressing S does not work. Alright. Nope. Uh, let's see. Controls. Move left, move right, move up, move down. Hold or jump to glide. Or jump or hold to glide. <sighs> Interact. Confirm. Inventory. Requests. Cancel. The trajectory. Clock. None of those help, though. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Change menu tab left. Change menu tab right. Um. All right. Interact does nothing. Confirm does nothing. All right. Maybe I'm. Sp okay. Does not. Yeah, the fact that the camera doesn't follow us means that it's probably going to be... Yeah, surely it's got to be... Oh. Okay. Yes, sorry, I... I uh, small interruption there. Small interruption there. Got a phone call and had to decline that so yes i'm looking in the freaking pond what do i do what do i do x one two three four five six seven eight nine ten nine ten um function keys oh, oh. um oh i did a screenshot and did I kill OBS? No, I did not. Okay, sorry, OBS just sort of went away. This is the problem. What? Okay. This is the problem with the hitting random keys approach. Uh, you wind up cancelling or minimizing Windows accidentally, and then you somehow open iTunes music and it says your computer is not authorized. Which it really is, but I don't want to stream any of my videos or music anyway, so thank you. All right, back to the game, we hope. <sighs> the mouse is not letting me do anything. No, 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 no. Okay, this is ridiculous. Why am I stuck? Oh, that's nice that I can use the arrow keys as well. Um... Oh! Oh! Okay, so arrow and jump. Um, down arrow and jump lets you actually go that way. Okay, well I feel silly now. But that's... That's just part of today. Okay. I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it, but you're putting a little lemon juice on the... <sighs> okay. I don't understand why... Um, yeah, sorry it took me so long to figure out the the rather, si rather simple key combination there, but at least I got it in the end. Whoops. Um, okay, so they don't want to get berry juice all over the lemon that they're going to put on the berries. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. That sounds important. I would have mentioned that before the lemon. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could even help out aboard your ship. With cooking, fishing, and building. Oh, excellent. 
I don't have spices and tools, but I'll make it work. I would not have given this character this voice had I realized that they might be accompanying us. Don't think about it so much. Let's just go to your boat. I am. Okay, so apparently I don't actually have to consent for them to... <laughs> Thank you, Jory. You're, too, you're way too kind. Um, it's interesting that we don't have to consent for them to join us on the boat. They just say, I could do this. I'm going to... I'll see you there. All right, so we now have a new companion. And can we interact with the sign? No, we cannot. All right. Oh, okay, good. Whoop, ah. <laughs> Daffodil. Daffodil is just so charming. Um, I love it when they skate across the water and their little, little ball. The voice matches the character. Well, thank you. That's reassuring. <laughs> It's always a crapshoot because I have not played this game any farther than where I am right now. So figuring out whether I should what type of voice is needed is always a little bit scary. Why do you have a frog shadow? I think that's a frog shadow. Okay, well anyway, St Stella. Oh, wow. This Throat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. Okay, that's why they had the frog shadow. <laughs> oh, it's me, Stella. Your uncle, Atul. Surprised? Happily, I hope. I've been on the island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights. The sea with you. Sorry, uh, apparently I may need to plug in my phone so that it doesn't keep going all wonky. And nope, nope, the phone keeps going to sleep. So, We'll just leave it there. Whatever. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for great adventure. On onwards! Wait a second. Is that a... Okay. Oh! I knew it! Oh, good. Someone to fish who enjoys fishing. That's a Sea Master 2000! I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Apparently, you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Not very vegan, but oh well. Wow, Stella! You sure know how to treat yourself. Just came with the boat, dude. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. <laughs> Same could be said for you. Um, let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. Okay. And. Let's see. La 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 la. Because we're not actually going anywhere at the moment, I think. So. We're not getting. Ooh. Oh. Oh! So apparently that didn't work. Um. I hope we didn't hit Daffodil with the fishing rod. And. When the line turns red, it's about to break. Quickly release E. Well, oh great. It's another fishing mini game. Yeah, because this is so easy. Um, so easy in Stardew Valley. Okay, there we go. Well, so we got one squid. Oh, 
Yes, I do love the art style. Yeah, I just feel bad that I'm constantly going from 0 to 60, 0 to 60, 0 to 60. Just someday I will learn to move smoothly, smoothly in this game. They never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace level fishing has gotten me all rattled up. Which reminds me. I had this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, um, by the way, you might be curious and have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll go. I'll take go and take a look around. <sighs> I'll, well, okay. We shall revise that sentence. Well, I'll go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. I'm not all that keen. Yeah, typos. Yeah, we had a, a, a sentence earlier in the last session with horrible subject verb disagreement. And so that was slightly frustrating. Am I supposed to be watering the garden at all? I can't remember. Probably. Oh! Okay. So we have linen fiber. Um, let's see. We have, okay. Yeah, I probably should be growing some stuff since we have the garden. Or the field, rather. Uh, we have coffee beans. Important. Corn and linen. We just grew some linen. So, let's do coffee. And we're watering, and we're going to do some corn, which I think we have already in, in our inventory. Yes, ma having to say it out loud does make it much more obvious. And then uh, both Jasnitz and I are um, nonfiction editors. So, <laughs> it's kind of our job to go, ah, when, when people write like that, so it's hard to turn it off. Um, you just know that it's wrong and it needs to be fixed and you cannot fix it and it becomes physically painful. And, ooh, I can make a squid. Squid is a small cephalopod known for its taste versatility, taste versatility. I'm assuming that should be taste comma versatility comma and hostile big brother, uh, because I don't know what taste versatility would be. I'm sorry, I should stop picking on the game's writing. Uh, it's not, not their fault at all. Can we get over to the wood thing? Um, we don't need that, okay. Yes, we're not going to be using the maple logs for actual, um, you know, for actual food, but appear and apparently we don't need it for the oven. Uh, do we need to go anywhere? Too dark to navigate. Oh, bite me. Fine. If you're going to be persnickety about it, we will do a little bit more shift. Uh, a little bit more fishing, I guess, because we do probably need some resources. And then maybe one or two fishy things. And, oh good, we got a herring. And, oh, oh, you were an editor for an academic fest shift. Yes, it's, yes, exactly. Yeah, you, it's, it's impossible to turn it off, and yes, I definitely agree the comma is required and vital. It's just I feel bad nitpicking uh, a game that's already been put out, but I, I, 
I shouldn't because it is a very good game and there there were lots of other things that they were trying to balance. It's just these are the things that always leap out to me. By the way, it's hard to see behind Daffodil, but I really like the the blanket, the star pattern on on the the on our bed. Uh, going to go ahead and sleep till morning. The nice little crescent moon and all the stars. So, oh, I have to remember to ring the bell when I wake up, to wake up everybody else, which seems a bit rude, but uh, Gwen did tell me to do that. Yes, comma karma. Super important. If you do not practice good karma karma, then the punctuation will, will come and make you regret it in the end. Okay, hmm. let's see, how do I, what was Gwyn's voice? Hmm. Well, I, I, we're just going to do a new voice, I, I can't remember. And it's not like I'm consistent with any of the voices within the same stream anyway, so. Ah, will you look at that? You've got two opals. Remember that shrine in Hummingburg? I have no memory of a shrine in Okay, vague, I do have a vague memory of a shrine in Hummingburg, but I would not have re remembered that was the name of the island. i try and add them there. If we're lucky, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. Okay, so we are going to... Hummingbird. Ah, Wrong building. I have no short-term memory, apparently. That's okay, though. You know, because memory is is overrated. All right. Who is this? Green Halton Bay. We need to go back to Hummingbird, though. And I'm sorry that my mousing is like. It's basically, I'm working on a very tiny desk uh, f compared to the amount of stuff that I need to spread out. And I have about this much space for my mouse pad. So my mouse pad is hanging off the side of the desk and I have to sort of move the mouse in increments. So not the best setup, but hey, it works. That is not going to tell me what it is. Uh, those should be crates, I believe. Yes, crates. Uh, the dark things. Yes, I think you should actually, uh, Jory, because it's... I, I don't know that I would want to play this if I just experienced a loss, because when we finally do get to meeting the character, meeting some of the spirits in the afterworld i'm worried that at least for myself that might be a little bit too too close to home hello goodness that was quite a post there but overall it's a very restful peaceful sort of game and i like it uh i like i i like some uh oh Oh, thank you, Jory. But, you know, I, I am well. It's just I, I remember how I was when my eldest dog, Nigel, died. Um, probably the idea of anything to do with, with death or the afterlife might have been a little bit too much for me. Okay, and he's the... This is what I call it. What I call a storm. Any respectable person would never get their, let their friend get hit by lightning. That is true. Um, don't know how you're supposed to prevent it other than having shelter, but, you know, and telling them, don't stand under that tree in the middle of the field. But I think you should try. What? Why? You have the ever alert. It will protect you. The lightning bolt will cast sparkles where they're about to hit. Rush toward those. Oh, good. 
Oh, good. Yes, the jellyfish catching thing that we did uh, last week was similar, and I was not good at that. This is going to be more of the same, isn't it? Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is going to be not very elegant. Thank you, Tilly. S sweetie. With the headphones, I'm sorry, with the headphones she sounds so far away. Tilly! Munchkin! Thank you! It's okay! Are you coming over here? Nope? There you are! Good girl! Come on then! Come on! You don't want to go? Tilly Boo, that's enough. You got it! Yes, you did! Okay, good girl. Okay, sorry. Small Tilly, uh, Tilly, Tilly interval, Till interval. Uh, yeah, small, small digression there. And yes, Tilly just had to say, had to make her contribution. Okay, so we are about to chase lightning bolts. Okay. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Have you gotten your empty bottles? If you're hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you'll get a lightning in a bottle. Okay, so there is a reason for doing this. However, I don't think I have any empty bottles. Isn't that bananas? <sighs> this world! Lightning is in, a bo in bottles are a pretty handy resource. So come here equipped. As a head start, here are a few bottles for you. Thank you, because I have none. But don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life. <laughs> okay, we're going to hydrate before um, before we do such a thing. Um, oh, good lord. Okay. We have three empty bottles. And he's, they're playing music, and we're supposed to be looking for sparkles. Ah. Okay. Okay. So we need to go over here. Okay. Rap, rap. Well, you're too fast. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I just fell off the ship. Okay, that's um <laughs> okay. Yay! Um Okay, I actually got a little bit. Cool. Okay, yeah, we're not uh I like I said I'm really bad at this. Okay. I I can't even see the spot oh there there we go. How am I supposed to get up to get back to back? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't. So, but, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, well. Do I not have enough, any more bottles? Oh, thank goodness. Are you going to say. Course. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it for a second there. Thanks, dude. Yeah, thank you. Yes, very fast. For um, uh, I, I am I'm not good at platforming. I'm not good at jumping and going back and forth like that. No, I I do not have the reflexes for that. You gave your you gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush! You looked pretty awesome catching those jolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could ever have hoped for. I do love the big smile. Big smile, double thumbs up. Yeah, that's a uh, little dorky, but it's rather cute, actually. Um, all right, are we where we needed to go? We did actually... Okay, I think... 
I have to remember to remove to get out of the way of daffodil when I go down the rope ladder. Otherwise, daffodil is just you know butt in my face. That is not particularly elegant or appreciated by either party, I'm sure. Oh, oh, we're back here. Oh, this is where I accidentally scared the person. Oh, okay, last week, uh, someone on this island basically asked me to leave them alone when I, st when I started talking to them. And then I happened to wrap up my business and was running back toward the boat. Unfortunately, I was also going in the same direction as that character and they started screaming and saying, leave me alone. And I felt really, really bad. Um, so let's hope we don't en encounter that person again. Oh, here's the shrine. And double jump acquire. Okay, so we c if we acquire this new skill, double jump, then we can press space again to double jump. Uh, cost two uh, little blue stars. Inter introverted salt. <laughs> yes, I know. I felt so bad. It was awful. I was like, dude, I'm sorry. I'm just running in the same direction as you. I'm not following you, really. Oh my god. I did not mean. <sighs> you can tell I still have some residual guilt about this. Um, okay, so double jump we're going to acquire and something's happening. Ooh, pretty. And boom. Yeah, I love that every that when you're upgraded, Daffodil is also upgraded. Request completed. Spring feet. While in the air, press space again to double jump. Oh! That's cool. Wasn't there a balcony on this island where, yes, hello, raccoon. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, cool. Okay, ha ha. There was, a, there was this balcony last time we were here, but the ladder is broken, so you can't actually climb up. But I remember, I actually remembered the existence of the balcony, yay me, and have managed to double jump up. Uh, I'm going to give, very good, you made it. Okay, wicked moves getting up here. I kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here, but you're here, so it might get better. I don't have a membership card for you. This was some sort of club, I think, if I recall correctly. I don't know, it's been a week. I'm doing well to have remembered the, uh, the balcony. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. And that is an important social distancing feature. In the, these days, yes, no touching, no touching of hands. And we have a small dog who wishes to join me on the ottoman. So do you want to come up? Do you want to come up? Come on up. Nope. You don't want to come up? He's just standing there looking at me very sadly. Do you want me to pick you up? You want me to pick... Okay. Pardon me. Uh, this is going to be somewhat awkward. Um, okay, do you want up? Do you want me to pick you up? Okay. Oh, here's a Malir. Okay. He's Malir. The actual dog. There we go. Okay. You can sit with me if you like. Yes. Okay. 
There we go. Yes, uh, this is why I can't actually justify getting an, a proper um, office chair because when I had one, um, oh, Sarah says hi. Uh, when I had one, he would just look at me sulkily and then go <sighs> and sit underneath my feet, basically. But he seems, now that I'm using the ottoman, since my old chair sort of worked itself to pieces, um, he seems much happier being able to share a seating platform with me. So I don't know where your hands have been. They've been all over my dogs. Well, not all over, but you know, you know what I mean. All right, uh, let us try. Oh, that, that door is locked. And ooh, we can sit here and Daffodil will sit in our laps and nothing much happens. All right, ooh, let's talk to this book. No, oh, is that a sheep or a dog? It's a sheep. Oh, hi, Sage. Welcome, how are you doing? We are investigating the upstairs club on, or uh, in, this is not Arcade Spirits, but Spirit Fair because, oh, excellent. I, I am, I'm scattered and not particularly, <laughs> not particularly functioning at my highest intellectual level at the moment. Um, you'll notice that the stream information is incorrect. I will be fixing that after the stream because uh, I, if I try to fix it now, then it's going to be a catastrophe and just bad. So anyway, uh, welcome. And uh, we are meeting this new sm uh, smaller person who is steaming. All of the people on this, on this island are steaming. Uh, I'm assuming it's a spirit thing or something. Yes, young person. Can I assume you are busy? Of course you're busy. Hmm. Wait a second. You don't have a full service kitchen. <gasps> the horror. Come back when you do. I have quite the pitch for you. Of course they want to sell us stuff. All right. So we go back to that place when we have a full service kitchen. Upstairs crew forever. Okay. Yeah, that's a little clickish. Um, my sister keeps asking me for money. Whoops. How can I say no without saying no? Maybe I should ask someone to rob me. That's a little extreme. Hmm. I just don't want to loan my sister money. Um, I think, I mean, I don't know your, your business dude, but it just seems like the simplest thing is to say, sorry, can't. Okay, so you can sit in these chairs for no apparent reason. Hmm. Okay, what happens if you go down this? Okay, so that, that ladder actually works, and we have someone sitting on a bench. What? Oh, you gave me such a fright. Hmm. That cat. It is a cat. Okay, good. Uh, he looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean... Stella, is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. And is that your boat over there at sea? Oh, you've come to rescue me again, I see. Well, not so fast. This time, I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Who are you? I have no idea who this person is. Uh, let's get going then. 
we have some lessons to go through. I thought we were all done with all the lessons. Okay. Um, okay. So, whoop, oh. Okay, oh, can we? Okay. Okay, I don't know. Just going to see if we can we can swim the entire way back. Nope, apparently we can't. I mean that's kind of you know the point of these games. I mean, I would rather take a, a different way back if I can than go through the same stuff over and over and over again. But ooh, splat. And shall we talk to Mr. Squirrel? Uh, raccoon, sorry, not squirrel. I uh, can't remember what voice I gave him, so. Uh, step right up, potential prospects. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing hummingbirds since forever. You've got the glimpse, I've got the goods. We've got all the wares to make you spend those hard earned glimpses. Step right up. Um, you're Stella, if I recall correctly. I never forget a face, especially if they have shiny glims. Don't be shy. Have a look if you fancy. Uh, we don't need to sell anything. Let's see. Key for Hummingbird. Ooh. But we do not have 5,000 glims, but the key will open the door next to the broken ladder. So do we have, okay. Linen seed, corn seed, coffee bean. Okay, we could get carrot or turnip. Hmm. Okay. Might as well stock up on some of those seeds while we're here, because I have no idea what we will need in the future. And then going back to the boat so we can find out what the other person wants to teach us and whether it's something we actually want to learn. Okay. Uh, okay, again, Remember to get out of the way when sliding down the ladder, because otherwise Daffodil's ass winds up in our face. All right, we are looking for... Uh, let's see, this is the over here little one. Oh, Stella, all this air, all this open space. Yes. I feel I can gr grow quite nicely here. Look at me. I'm flowering already. Okay. What? What? I'm sorry, is that, is that a snake in a robe? Okay, that's a, that's a freaking snake in a robe. That is not the, ex the form I thought their true, uh, true shape would be. I, okay, um, that's fine, their true form is a snake in a rope, so that's good. <sighs> this game, okay. Oh, oh, getting out of this chrysalis. What a feeling. Thank you, Stella. And they're happy. Yeah, that's a snake in a robe. Quick. Cool. Uh, there, there isn't really a fire, but I wouldn't mind a hot dish to warm me up. Okay. Uh, 
Oh yes, Stella is getting hungry, so we need to cook something. And if I recall correctly, Stella only likes, or Stella does not like eating the same thing more than once, which can be a problem. So I think last time we gave Stel uh, Bryn, who, who, Gwyn, also known as Bryn, uh, berries. Okay, that was an interesting thing in the background. Um, sorry, phone went to sleep again. Uh, let's try... Let's try something with a turnip. Cook. Okay. Um. Okay. Do I remember? Oh. Okay, so we are cooking a turnip, a tasty, tasty turnip. And yeah, that's not really good thermal insulation for the, uh, the cooktop. And we're waiting. Can we go out while it's cooking? Okay. No. No, about the garden. We'll go up here while we're while we're waiting and see what they're talking about. Oh, Stella, don't you think your boat feels a little sad? Well, it sure could use some greenery. What do you think is behind you? And as an added bonus, a small garden could serve as a nice classroom. Um, I've been thinking about this teaching thing for a while now. It would be called Caring for Plants, from A to Zalia. Uh, hmm, yes. It doesn't ring as good once I saw... as good. Uh, once said out loud. Maybe I need to work on the name some more, and I think my food might actually... Is it is it burning? Okay. Hopefully we did not burn the Oh it's oh it's a grilled veggie and not just a turnip. Okay. Excellent. So we will give Yes, I know. A snack would be great right about now. And we wish to give you Thanks. I love it. Whatever you give, uh, gosh, I have too many names. This is going to be embarrassing. Uh, whatever we give Gwyn, it turns into a cake on the screen. So, yeah, I wish everything that I ate was turned into a cake. But actually, maybe I don't because I would not be able to move after a certain point. And so we need to see about doing, let's see, what do we need in order to make the thing that Snake Friend wanted? Wanted a garden. So we have, okay, good. We have the things required for the garden. Uh, we have 11 out of 10 required maple logs and 13 out of 5 lightnings in a bottle. Lightning in a bottle. Lightnings in a bottle? Lightning in bottles. Lightning in bottles. Okay, so we are going to build. And do we wish to... Okay, it won't let me make it that tall. That's too bad, though. It would be rather fun. Woo! Okay. Okay, I can't actually do that. Um, put it down there. But, it's not quite as wide 
as that. Ooh, neat. Cool. Okay. I don't know. This may be absolutely catastrophic in the future. Um, because I don't know the sizes of future buildings that we're going to need. But... Okay. I'm inclined... Maybe put it there? Maybe? I don't know. I kind of want to put it in the center, but that seems really un unwise. Uh, an unwise use of space. Okay. Stop. There. <sighs> Fine. Let's just put it there. Um, might as well. I mean, I don't think anything will be catastrophic. Hopefully we'll be able to move the buildings at some point in the future. And we need to go back to our, th our <coughs> ship. Thank you, Tilly. Yes, you are indeed correct. And go back and see, oh, Sprout. Why, yes, indeed. Um, we're going to, whoop, great. We're going to do whatever, do what the thing is with the field, which is reaping. That's it. And wake up the phone again. And then we're going to go up and see what Garden Snake, what Garden Snake wants. Yes. Yes. Perfect. I didn't mean go inside. I meant go talk to the person. What a wonderful little garden. You really outdid yourself, Stella. Well then, that makes us just about ready to start the first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. They'll be important. Okay. Um, so we're going to go in here. And what are we doing? Carrot seeds. And planted up the garden, these these seeds will grow into a tasty carrot. All right. And we're going to water. And um turn up. Okay. What does Snake Friend want? Oh, oh, okay. I meant to talk to Snake Friend instead of planting another seed, but oh well. Um, okay. For our first lesson, we'll start with something I've been quite excited to share. This world has some strange rules, as you've probably noticed already. I've always been a preacher for love toward all living beings. For, you see, a garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. Oh, good lord. This seems truer now than ever. Back on my island, when I was lonely, I sang to the flowers. And, as I expected, they grew much more vigorously. Yeah, that's not confirmation bias at all. Uh, through trial and error, I've managed to write a little song. What? The plants seem to react particularly well to it. Okay, that's anecdotal data, but what will it hurt to give it a shot? I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden and try playing that piece to your crops. The new request is called Jiving Chives. Yes, that's Jiving Chives. <sighs> oh, good lord. Um, okay. Oh, no, I have to play... Mu Hold F to play the guitar. What am I... Oh! Oh, oh, god! I have to... What am I supposed to do? Ooh. 
Okay. Okay, so I have to hit the keys. Okay, this is... I am not... Oh. No, see... I am better at Stardew Valley. Oh! Right. <laughs> I am really, really bad at this. Okay. Um... Yeah, this is not going to go well. Oh dear, S A. Yeah, I I've never played Guitar Hero. I think I'm one of the few people who who never did. So these sorts of games are not second nature to me. Um, and it feels. It's, it's very anxiety provoking. It's like taking a typing test. Ap, dip, dip. Especially since you're only using a few keys and it, it's not actually spelling out anything. If I could actually type, and I have to, and I have to keep holding down the F key as well. So yeah. I not yeah sorry I, I'm just I'm dissolving into incoherence here but I'm when can I stop okay okay oh good uh, well apparently you stop when your phone gets an amber alert about a missing child um so sorry can't uh thank you thank you sarah at least i i made it made it through kind of i think um ish okay i think i was getting a little bit better toward the end and snake friend says quite incredible <laughs> For a given value of incredible, of course. Um, okay, will you... Have you seen how the plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? I did not. I was too busy focusing on the floating letters. Isn't that fabulous? As I suspected, emotions in this world manifest, manifest themselves much more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word about this fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers might know how to play some music too. It just disturbs me that one of his arms is like just a coil of snakiness and the other the other is his tail, which at least well, I guess you could sort of wrap your coil around something and pick it up and manipulate it. Oh, but still, uh, it's just oddly distracting. Oh, they might help, if in a good enough mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion of the last few days, I forgot something. Here, this is for you. This strange coin has been tickling me since I've arrived here. Oh my. I'm relieved it's not one of those pollen allergies again. Oh, I got an opal. And let's see. Shall we play? Okay. Let's play just just a little bit for this plant. And okay, well, I stopped. Stop. Stop. There we go. Okay. So apparently, even though you okay, so apparently you don't have to hold down the F key. Uh, you can just press F until it starts, and then press Escape to get out of it. That is good to know, because I was pressing the F key the entire time, um, the first time I tried. And, boop, and, and yes, 
Natalie, I see you over there. Yes, you're on the sofa. You look very comfortable. Yes, I, I particularly love it when Tilly gets um, very uh, cranky sounding and usually she's like flat on the sofa, not even bothering to lift her head. Like, ah, 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 ah. But completely flat out. Basically, if you looked at her, you'd think she was asleep. And oh my goodness, Muir. Um, sorry, elderly Shih Tzu Gas. Um, he. Oh, that, mm. sorry. Uh, Molzy. Molzy uh, just farted, and so. <sighs> okay, I would ask what you've been eating, but I know because I'm the one who feeds you. Oh dear. Um, all right. Moving on from uh, unfortunate, uh, unfortunate digestive issues with elderly Shih Tzus. Um, what? I was just about to go to bed. Somebody wants something. Okay, what, 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 what? You have to tell me something. Okay, fine. Stella, I didn't want to disturb you with this, but... For the last several weeks, I've been having strange dreams. You're dead, that's probably why. Um, they were of a giant snake, and of menacing reefs, and of rotten fruit. You are kind of a giant snake, dude. And since joining you and your crew, well, they've become much, they've been much clearer. I think it's the air of the sea. Maybe the mystical energies of the Everlight, which is the little gold ball that Stella and Daffodil both have. Anyway, I'm now convinced my dreams have been visions. Mm -hmm. Do you want down Lear so you can fart in peace? Yes? Because you're just standing there. Okay, I'll tell you what, we're going to put you down. Boop. Okay. There we go. Good boy. Yes. You can come back up if you want to. Ah! Oh, nope. He wanted down. So, much better. Okay. And I think I'm going to sneeze, actually, now. Huh? Pardon me. <coughs> I beg your pardon. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Sorry, I tried to sneeze away from the microphone. Um, furthermore, I think th I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. Mm. I've been looking at the map in your cabin. You've been in my cabin? Dude, privacy. My eyes kept being drawn to a specific spot that I marked. You also marked on my stuff. Dude. Not cool. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Oh my. Okay, why? Why sad? Mm. Can I hug? Okay. Oh, you're sweet. Okay, good. Mood is better? Uh, unsettling dreams can't really help much um okay fine and okay Atun seems to be why are you drooling why is Atun drooling is he sleeping He, that's a, that's just very worrying. He doesn't look well. I think he's asleep. Maybe? I can't talk to him, though, when he's there. When, when he's in front of the sofa, because if I try, I sit on the sofa. I hate it when that happens in real life. You, you, know, you, you try to talk to someone, and instead of opening your mouth, you sit on their sofa. 
So, um, not much I can do. I hope that's just drooling in his sleep. Otherwise, good morning, honeybee. Okay, uh, I thought it was night, but all right. Who's going to get to sleep? Um, but let's look at the map. Um, okay. I'm not remembering where we've been and where we haven't. Um, that's a jellyfish. That's Jellyfish Heaven, um, which is a fun song by the Dead Milkman, if you haven't heard it. Quartz Dragon. I think that's what Summer Snake Friend was talking about. So we're, we're over here somewhere. Where are... Okay, yes, we're here. So... Don't know what that is. Don't wish to go through the thunderstorms, or do we? No, we have enough lightning, lightnings right now. So shall we, let's go for let's go for some crates, and then when we're on the way, because um, you know we could just go straight through the thunderstorm, but might as well go off to the side a bit. And. No, I could have sworn that uh, Atun was going to do some fishing for us, but apparently we still have to do all of our fishing. And and yes, I'm not particularly keen on fishing in games, but I recognize that it's it's just fake. Um, it took me a long time to get accustomed to the idea of killing virtual fish. Still not particularly fond of it, but you know, just because I'm doing it in a game doesn't mean that I would actually do it in real life. Because, well, I I did I did go fishing when I was like three, and I didn't. Oh, fine, bite me. Um, and I didn't know any better. Uh, but you know, I I didn't really have any particular say in the matter, other than ooh. My parents are taking me somewhere. That's cool. Um, but I, I personally would not do fishing now. Uh, other people do obviously go fishing and that's, that's, that's perfectly fine. That's their, uh, their choice. Oh, there's our crate. And we're going to go water the thing that has up here with uh, carrots yes excellent and then we're going to go down and actually I'm just going to jump perfect oh perfect sea trash quick jump in the water there's wreckage yeah that's always my first impulse whenever I see um, whenever I see wreckage in the water jump in I'm sure you'll find some helpful materials in there. Well, we will, but it's a little bit late for the tutorial, dude, because we've been to several crates oh, before buying it. Ooh, we've got a valuable ring, uh, empty bottles, some more seeds. Ooh, there is a, a floaty. Oh, no. I'm sorry, that's Daffodil. Oh! Oh, okay. actually, I thought it was Daffodil, but no, we actually got some limestone. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay. And... Okay, so we have two competing people. Uh, Stella? You did good. Did well, but okay, fine. Um... Now we've got a real boat going, and you'll have to take care of these new passengers now. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. Oh, still leaving us? But before all of that, I have something to ask you. You might not have noticed it by now, but 
sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for any of us. Mm. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You've been terrific up to this point, and it would be terribly rude of me to blame you for anything. But you're totally blaming us, of course. Uh, but I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. A nice little house, unpretentious but sophisticated, with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read and unwind far from the turmoil of the deck. Oh. Oddly enough, I'd see something with an alpine flair. See, even I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. Okay, yeah, that's not a guilt trip at all or anything like that. No, that's, that's, that's good. Gwen, thank you. Yeah, no passive aggressive guilt trips here. And dear blame, yes. Oh my god so much dear blame passive aggressive dear blame just bad and new blueprint acquired Gwyn's Lodge all right uh, sad why sad shop to raccoons is hungry needs a home okay so why are you hungry hmm, hmm. So, no, sorry, Estella. You know I can't eat fruit for the life of me. I've tried, but I just can't. Fine. Fine. We'll cook you something else first. Just to make you happy. Ooh, coffee beans. Ooh, okay. Um, fish. And radish or turnip. Okay, let us do. Let's let's see. I made the roasted veggies for, or the grilled veggies for someone else. I think it was someone else. We'll see. But hopefully, that will be good and will improve Gwen's mood. Yeah, I'm really bad about maintaining my guests help, uh, happiness levels because honestly there's a kitchen right there it's right next to the guest house they could cook their own freaking meals why do you make me do everything but, but unfortunately that seems to be the way it works and I'm sorry I'm just standing here talking while the vegetables are roasting or grilling or doing doing their thing but yeah, I'm just, we're almost ready. Ding, we dinged. Okay, and yay, grilled veggie one. All right, no, I did not mean, I meant go here. And we wish to give you, no, no, I didn't, no, I didn't mean that. Yes, I know. I, I know you don't eat. F okay, fine. We'll use the freaking mouse. Yeah. You can't eat the same thing twice. I don't hate myself that much. <sighs> right. Um, Gwen, you're starting to get on my nerves. Okay, you're hungry. How would you like some grilled veggies? See, he likes them. Or they like them. I, uh, for some reason, I think of the frog as a little bit more male. Octone. Uh, so, oh boy, I just love food. So do I. Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. I know the feeling. Okay, so Gwyn does not want to eat the same thing twice. It's going to be a problem. Um... 
Okay. So I think let's do fine. Gwen doesn't want to eat the same thing twice. I know, Gwen is such a diva. And high maintenance. Well, fine, you don't want the same thing twice, we'll give you a squid. The most unappetizing sounding thing. And while we're here, we shall. Um, do we need linen? We don't need linen at the moment. Might as well do some crop stuff while we're baking. And I'm going to do coffee bean and water. And then we might. Okay, let's do one of each. So linen and water and boop and grow. Go back and go up the ladder to the other thing. Whoop! Right there. Um. Go inside. Hold E to pull. Boom. Okay. And more turnips. And okay. And so now we have veggies. And a phone that is once again going to sleep. And let's see, we don't have too many turnips, turnip seeds, so we'll have a lot of carrots. And, and then uh, by th once I finish doing this, I will go back down and see about the food for Grumpy Diva Stella. Not Stella, I keep calling them Stella. Gwyn, sorry. Um, I'm assuming that things in the garden can actually grow without... Whoop! <laughs> I missed the duck. Whoopsie. Um, okay, <laughs> I didn't realize that I would, uh, that I would do that. Um, or that I could do that. Squid skewers. That's, yeah, not good. Um, okay. You've got that weird feeling. You're actually rather hungry. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was freaking, freaking making you these squid skewers. Mm. Oh, this is absolutely ex exquisite. Worthy of the best fine dining restaurants I've been to. And I've been in those a lot. Ah, Gwen, I liked you a lot at the beginning of the game, but you're starting to get on my nerves. Thanks a lot. Mood goes up. And then we go here. And what are, what is it that we're supposed to be doing now? Oh yes, we need to make a new place for Gwen. Let's see what we need. Um, so, whoop. Gwen's, okay, Gwen's Lodge is almost as big as the Guest Lodge. Okay, so we need eight more maple logs. Contains all of the luxury amenities Gwen needs to survive on the high seas. Yeah, well, I'd like some luxury amenities too, Gwen, but you don't see me complaining. Um, all right. So, we need to find a place that does logs. And let's see here. That's where we get glimmy things. This is where we... Nope, that's the shipyard. What? Mm. Oh, we were going here too, weren't we? I don't want quartz though. Um. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, it's 
It's 4.45 already. I did not realize it was that late. Uh, let's do a jellyfish stage three. What does that mean? Jellyfish. Okay, it's not going to tell us what, what stage that is. Uh, yes. Okay, let's go for... The map is very pretty, but very confusing, and the crosshairs have to be lined up pretty precisely, I think, um, for it to tell you any information. Either that, or I am just incredibly awkward. I'm going to sleep until morning. And Daffodil is going to cuddle up with me, which is lovely. Yay! And I have to remember, ring the bell in the morning wake up everyone and hello game there we go okay just wanted to make sure the game was still with us hydration break don't for don't forget to stay hydrated oh right I hope that doesn't um, doesn't cause any unfortunate sound effects on the microphone if it does please let me know I will, I will change things. Good morning, Sprout. Talk. Jeez, you gotta love the sights here. The sun, the sea, the breeze on my skin. It just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard the ship. With you, my niece. I wish your Aunt Viv could see you right now, running your own ship, helping out these stranded souls. It really warms the heart. I'm glad you picked me up on that island. I'll try and make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. Aww. I like him. Yes. Aww. Except for food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. That is a mood. Um, all we have is berries. Oh boy! I just love food. Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. I love Atun. He's a good boy. He's a good little froggo. Okay, and we are getting into the jellyfish storm. Again? Yes, again. Here we go again. The jellyfish are stealing all the light, as they've stolen all hope for me. I'll never get used to it. And a part of me makes me... Th a part of me makes me think? Okay, a part of me makes me think it's all my fault. All right, you can do your thing again. Yes, I want to hug him too. Okay, good. Thank you, Sarah, for confirming you're not hearing me guzzle down water from my water bottle. Are you up for it? Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. Yeah, but they don't do anything. All I do is pop them when I can. Stella is also extremely melodramatic. Um, I, I tried this location last time because sometimes you have higher... Ooh, okay, here we go. Um, boop, ah, sorry. Sometimes you, they come up higher and whoop oh crap it's another amber alert sorry dude not much i can do about that um i mean important stuff but oh, a little bit loud and did not mean to startle quite so much whoop oh dear okay and okay so it does tell me where the big things are coming through I should probably Ooh, ah, ah. 
let's try going up the actual ladder. And see if we can actually catch. Ooh. Nope, cannot catch too many of these. Yeah, but I mean, this is about as well as I was doing last time. I can catch some, but I'm, like I said, I am not good at platforming. And, okay. And at this point in the game, it's not really, it's not really important to actually, well, I'm telling myself, it's not really important to actually catch all of them. Uh, but yes, as long as you, yeah, yes, the jellyfish, as long as you, you get, get to say hi to some of the jellyfish, that should be sufficient, I think. And they are very pretty. And we are watering the stuff. And then I'm going to go see where we need to go to get some logs, because that's what we need to keep uh, to keep Gwen Diva happy. And it should tell us somewhere. Green Holton Bay is new, as is Quartz Dragon, but we don't need quartz, and this is on the way. So let's go to Green Holton Bay first. And, whoop, no, I did not mean that. I meant to go out and let's see, we've got people Oh, oh yes. Oh. I th I've got all of these people. Why are they not actually doing any of the gardening or cooking or whatever? Oh, and yes, of course, now it's raining, so we don't need to water the things. <sighs> How is it that that always happens? It's like washing your car before it rains. And Green Holton Bay has been discovered. Yay. Splop. And... Alright, let's go see... Yes, once, one day I will remember. Do not stand immediately underneath the rope ladder. Today is not that day. And we are... Ooh, pretty. Oh, right. Hold E for as long as possible to break a mining node. I am. And one more. Boom. And one more. Finally. Thank you. Okay. And we are. Hello. Hey. I came here to cut down these trees. The ecological devastation. But. I forgot my axe. I'm not going to start using someone else's axe. That's how you get cooties. That would be strange. Mm. I like the way my axe feels. Here's a one axe, or they're a one axe person. It's so sturdy and it, it calms me. Mm. Okay. Um, oh, I miss that axe. Mm. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, mm. but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. Okay, I don't quite know if there was a point to that, but hey, whatever. We're good. Um. Okay, this, from experience, has not been... Yes, I know, I'm moving the saw back and forth. Uh, I am not terribly good at cutting down trees. Oh, I... Oh. Okay. okay, I forgot that the trees fall in the direction of whatever character they wish to. 
and it's okay the characters don't actually get squished it's just it's kind of like when you're driving the car and you have to hit the brakes and you reach over um, for Americans this way and I guess for British people this way uh, to to brace the person in the passenger seat <sighs> even though it's not really going to do any good so yeah but at least we have some logs now um, because we've killed a tree I know it makes me sad too I mean at least in Stardew Valley you can you can plant the little acorns or maple seeds or pine cones and they grow back really quickly at least for me uh, I usually have you know by the by year two my farm is usually overrun with with trees but yeah I know it's it's sad um but you do ooh, things in a game that you wouldn't ordinarily do in real life ooh, we can get berries and okay and then we can do whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I didn't know we could... <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's as far as we can go. Okay. And boop. And I'm going to see, since it's been almost, I think almost two hours, I'm going to see if I can build Gwyn's cabin and then probably call it after that. Uh, if that's okay with everyone. I know the Lorax! We need a Lorax uh, in this game because it's just, well, I mean, hopefully in the spirit realm everything grows back super quickly, maybe, but yeah, we definitely need a supernatural um, afterlife Lorax for this. Um, but if it's okay with everyone, I think Let's see, do we have? Um, okay, do I have enough? How do I get to my inventory? I don't recall. Um, but let's see. Oh, no. Next one. Okay. Um, if it's okay with you, I think I am going to build Gwen's cabin and then call it for the day. Uh, probably return to this game next week uh, if that's something people would like to see because I am enjoying it. It's just uh, the problem with, the me with remembering what happened last time, remembering the key combinations and uh, <laughs> various other memory-related things uh, causing a few problems, but I'm I'm enjoying it as much as I may be swearing about some of the characters on occasion. So I think I will do that and Tuesday possibly, or or Monday, depending on other people's schedules. Um, I will return to Arcade Spirits. Uh, I'll see. Um, I, I will see what other people, what other people's schedules are, because I don't usually like to conflict with with my friends' schedules. Um, but then, they are so active. If I'm going to stream at all, I'm going to have to conflict occasionally, at least. So, anyway, uh, we are building. Uh, yes, we are building. We would like to build that, please. Oh, that's because we need... Okay, now that's just pretentious. All right, we are building Gwyn's home. Okay, I kind of like that, where it's connected. Because otherwise you have the little gap that you could fall through um, vertically. So place. Oh, you can swap! Oh, that's cool! Okay, that alleviates a lot of anxiety that you can actually swap the buildings. I like that. Um, okay, so we are out of here and I want to 
see what Stella, not Stella, Gwen, one day I will remember what a name is and which person it belongs with. Um, okay, so Gwen says, I love it. This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. Yes, it does. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo on Waverly? Mm. Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. Okay. Uh, yeah, before we, t we see what Autumn wants, I am going to try to remember how to, s how to save. Um, there's a way, I know, but I cannot remember. You know what I might do? I might just boop, go here. Let's avoid the whole question. And since I don't need my game audio anymore, uh, thank you everyone for showing up. Oh, good lord, what is up with my hair? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, yeah, hair is disobedient in the best of times, and this is apparently not the best of times for my hair. Um, thank you, everybody. I, I enjoyed playing the game, and I appreciate you keeping me company. And Gwen, yes. Oh, and <laughs> uh, there's, there's a story about Gwen and Gwent uh, that I, you'll have to remind me to tell you at some point, Jasnitz, because a uh, little, little bit of a joke from some other streams and it may eventually crop up on this one. Uh, who knows? But anyway, thank you everyone. Uh, again, I will probably be doing arcade, or returning to Arcade Spirits Monday or Tuesday, probably Tuesday evening, uh, Eastern Standard Time, but it depends on other people's schedules as well. And then probably my plan is next Saturday, return again to Spirit Pharaoh. So anyway, thank you again. Everybody stay safe, take care, and you know, stay hydrated, uh, wash your hands, wear your masks, uh, social distancing, uh, all the good stuff, and eat, eat good food, and and take naps because naps are self care. Um, so thank you, uh, and I'll talk with you, uh, or see you all later. Thanks, bye. And in screen.